Yo, what's going on YouTube? It's your boy Piper Downs coming back at you. Just checking my little portfolio. <clears throat> I've got about 50 shares of AMD. They're up today, big time. My uh, my portfolio, I've got like, I think I put like 500 bucks in it, 400 bucks. I don't have a ton in it, but uh, it's up 100 bucks today, so pretty pretty excited about that. Um, I'm smoking some uh, Haunted Bookshop. Smoking it out of a pipe that I got today in the mail. This, I would say, would be a beginner pipe. It's a screw-on bowl. I forget who makes it. It's like dry smoke or something like that, but... Uh, it's actually kind of cheesy, but I think I paid like eight bucks out the door, shipped. It's like a $5 minimum bid, so I was like, screw it, you know. I've really been wanting a screw-on bowl pipe. Either like a Falcon. I'll probably end up getting a Falcon a little, a little later on down the road. But um, this was such a cheap deal, and I, you know, I've been wanting to try one of these kind of pipes. And I figured, you know, hell, that, that, that's so damn cheap. You know, that would be worth giving a shot and seeing how those pipes smoke, you know. First time I smoked in it, first time I smoked the bookshop, too. Pretty cheesy pipe, though. I mean, the bit, they must put, like, some kind of a little coating on it. It was like a little plastic coating. You can't see it because of damn. Hopefully the bitch will. You can see it's like peeling off. So it's just it's just really cheesy pipe. Not only that, but when I bought it, I did see that it said nylon. It says nylon on the bottom. And for some reason, I was just thinking that it had a nylon insert. <laughs> I don't know what I was thinking, but, you know, the picture showed the inside here. And I was thinking, huh, it must have a nylon insert, insert, you know. But when I got it, immediately realized that this whole thing is made out of nylon minus the bit. And that it's coated with a metallic paint. And I'm thinking, you know... I probably wouldn't have bought it if I hadn't if I had known that the whole thing was metallic. Or the whole thing was nylon and that it was just a metallic coating. However, really and truly, I figured uh hell, you know, it it was unsmoked. Even if I just smoked it once or twice, I'd get my money's worth out of it as far as I'm concerned. If it smoked okay anyway. I must say, smoke's okay. If you keep it tilted, get no gurgle, none of that. But I, I had it like this, got a little gurgle. But uh, uh, other than that, excuse me. It's a real briar bowl. Um, it's not really super high quality. I mean, the top kind of had like a rough spot on it, you know, an imperfection in the wood. It's got like a red cherry finish or something. Super lightweight pipe, though. Smokes good. Get nice big, you know, nice big uh, puffs out of it. And this haunted bookshop, it just has absolutely no tongue bite. You can just chooch the hell out of this tobacco. I always wondered how the hell Matches 860 got away with that, man. That guy just chiefs, man. Like, the whole time he's just, he hardly can get a, a word in edgewise. He's smoking so much, you know.
And now it occurs to me that you could do that with Haunted Bookshop. That's probably why he likes it. Tastes okay. I mean, it tastes good. And it, you can puff on it like a madman. No chance of tongue bite. And, uh... I've told you guys before, I like smaller bold pipes. Or at least right now, anyway. You know, it seems like the bigger they are... The harsher they can be. Harder they are to keep lit, too. This one has a teeny little bowl. I want to say it was didn't come up but to the first not the first crease of my pinky practically not super wide or anything probably regular regular diameter but I was thinking geez you know having a nylon pipe you know where, and you got got a bowl that's got a big old fat round hole in the bottom and you got a nylon pipe underneath it or a nylon uh, frame you can't hardly relight it when it gets down to the bottom I guess I suppose you kind of run the risk of uh, melting a pipe or Releasing unwanted chemicals into the smoke. When I first lit up the bookshop, man, I'm wondering if that there's. When I first lit it up, I got this taste. I'm getting it again. I guess it. I would imagine it's from the bookshop then. But um, kind of harsh at first, the bookshop was. And so I, I mentioned it to everybody on Reddit that I, or to some guys on Reddit that I had bought some Cornell and Deal blends and I had never tried them before. And one guy piped up, he said, hey, um, he said, don't, don't get discouraged if it's a little harsh. He said their tobaccos can be a little young and uh, they can, sometimes they can need a little bit of time to really mature and mellow out, which, you know, really and truly, I have no problem with a tobacco like that in my mind. You know, it's just, um, to me, a tobacco like that, that takes a little bit of time in a jar that's fine with me. If it's good after a year in the jar, that's a good tobacco as far as I'm concerned. Um, you know what I mean? Because if it's good, it's good. I mean, if you have to go a little bit extra to get, you know, to get it to where you want, you know, more power to you, you know. But, um, you know, I wouldn't say that's a bad blend because of that. And I was definitely grateful for the guy mentioning that because I didn't know really what to expect. But yeah, this thing ain't a very deep bowl at all. Doesn't even make it to that first crease. Doesn't even get to the first crease of my finger. So really, this pipe suits me actually for certain situations. Because I like a pipe that, you know, I can just do a quick 20, 15, 20 minute smoke. You know, I like that. And uh, so I'm actually somewhat pleased with this pipe. I probably will smoke it. May not be in the rotation, but I would imagine I'm gonna smoke it fairly often. But uh, the Haunted Bookshop was slightly harsh. The retro hail was rather harsh. The mouthfeel was rather harsh. For maybe the first 10 puffs. And it is bulk. It's not aged. I haven't let it mellow. I must say I did enjoy it though. 
but um, I think, you know, maybe I, I see what that guy was talking about, about the youngness of the tobacco. Burned good, nice clean white ash. Smoked good, like I said, man, I was just puffing like a freight train and, you know, getting it done. But, you know, I must say, though, nothing out of the ordinary about it other than it's a good smoke you know something you can really you know an all maybe even an all day something you can just really enjoy but it, um it's not like um a flavor bomb it's not uh it's don't expect to get your socks blown off it's just a good smoke um it's got a good flavor but nothing crazy nothing special as far as I'm concerned, flavor-wise. But it was a good smoke, you know? And that's, a, you know, to me, that's a big deal. Because it don't matter how good a, a tobacco tastes, if it doesn't smoke worth a damned. You know, if you can't keep it lit, I mean, you know, if you can't keep it lit, if you can't, if it doesn't burn evenly, I mean, you know, it definitely takes away from the tobacco. I would give that uh, Haunted Bookshop um, out of a 10 for um, an enjoyable smoke, not a flavorful smoke or anything like that, but let's just say a 10 for, you know, how, how much did I enjoy it out of 10? I would say a 6 or a 7. A 6 or a 7, yeah. And that's saying quite a bit because... I, I think I would do like Penzance at like 8 or 9. I mean, it's definitely not a 10 for me. Um, a 10 being like St. James Flake. And a 1 being Billy Bud. Because I tried that the other night. Last night or the other night. and Not for me. It's just not for me. It's just really bitter or not bitter, but just like a really overpowering, smoky, strong, just, I don't know, it just wasn't doing it for me. I mean, I tapped it out, it just wasn't doing it for me. I don't know what it was, but it was just too damn strong, too too much. Um, I mean, I guess it tasted kind of like, I could see why people would say, you know, it's kind of like a cigar blend, I mean, it has the... Uh, it has the cigar filler in it, but, um, I mean, I wouldn't say it was just like a cigar, but it was all right. I mean, er, it just wasn't for me, you know, that, that, that's the best I can say, you know, and I give it a one because it just wasn't for me, the taste. It's not that it didn't burn good, it burned fine. Um, I just wasn't into the taste. It was really, it wasn't delicate at all. It was very loud and a I would almost say obnoxious, you know, it was an obnoxious flavor for me. Um, I mean, I couldn't even get more than a quarter through that bowl, man, and I packed like a half a bowl of my big old Cali, my big old uh, Calabash, that, or Butch Joaquin, it's the, it's the big one that I come on, it looks like a Sherlock Holmes style pipe. I tapped it and I was like, no more. That's it for me after about a quarter. So, you know, hopefully, I don't know, if any of you guys like that Billy Bud, um, I'd be happy to send you what I got. I got like a, an ounce. I just smoked a bowl out of it. So, um, if any of you guys want to try that out, just let me know. Um, I'd be more than happy to send that to you um, for free, honestly. I think it would probably, I think I paid three bucks for the ounce, and I think shipping it would be like two bucks three bucks at the most it couldn't be more than four bucks so you know i'd send that to you if you've never tried it or if it's one of your favorites um just let me know you know i'd be happy to 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 give that to you but uh anyway you know i just wanted to pop in and show you guys this new pipe and um talk about haunted bookshop a little bit and uh talk about the, the billy bud and I don't know, that, that, that's really all I wanted to do. So anyway, um, Piper Downs, over and out. See you guys later.